According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, a course of antibiotics is the most effective way to kill off Lyme disease, which is spread by deer ticks if the infection is caught early. Yeah, but experts believe that nearly a quarter of all cases go completely undetected, which can lead to more serious issues, including neurological problems. Some of these symptoms can linger for years, and they are driving more patients to seek alternative treatments, things like laser therapy for joint pain. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Hamden. I feel so 13 years ago, Amy Cray started having migraines that came out of nowhere. Then more problems, so bad they affected her ability to work. Having blurry vision, um, started to get the brain fog, um, joint pain in my knees. A year and a half later, she was diagnosed with Lyme, Bartonella, a tick-borne co-infection, and Bell's palsy. The condition causes facial muscle weakness or paralysis, all despite never finding a tick bite. Courses of antibiotics helped, but stress brought on new flare-ups and even more symptoms. The more time went on, the weaker I got and, you know, got down to like 90 pounds. After seeing a host of doctors, including an infectious disease specialist and mental health providers, Amy's daughter came across the Lyme Laser Centers of New England, which has an affiliate in Hamden. Since this past winter, Amy has been on a dozen protocols, including herbal supplements, a detox plan, including a sugar-free diet, chiropractic work, lymphatic and cold laser therapy treatments. The laser treatments have pretty much taken all the Lyme symptoms. Unlike a surgical laser which transmit heat and tears down tissue, this laser which has a red light is placed on acupuncture points stimulating energy production in the body's cells. In my head, um, a lot of like the, the joint pain has gone away. The protocol, which is not covered by most insurance plans, is administered by Debbie Baker, a licensed chiropractor. She says the multi-step protocol targets the biofilm, which acts as a shield for the bacteria that causes Lyme, making the spirochy resistant to treatment. It takes probably about nine months for the body to totally break down the biofilm, and that's where the spirochetes hide. A spokesman for the CDC tells News Center people who are considering alternative treatments for ongoing symptoms associated with a Lyme disease infection should talk to their health care provider about the possible risks and effectiveness of such treatments. Amy, who is almost finished with the program, says the majority of her debilitating symptoms like fatigue and brain fog are gone or fading. At a recent physical, her primary care doctor, who is aware of the Lyme Laser Center protocol, was amazed. She's like, wow, this is this is great for you. It's the best I've seen you in, you know, a lot, a lot of years. Amy knows the program is not a cure or a magic bullet. But after Lyme robbed her of so many years, she's grateful to be on a healthier path and hopes it will stay that way. In Hamden, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. The CDC says it is not known how many people seek alternative treatment for post-Lyme or how many complications occur. We'll have more information on prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of Lyme disease and tick-borne illnesses on our website and our mobile app.